Hello, paratroopers of the 173rd Airborne Brigade. I'm Specialist Poos, and today I'm gonna to show you how to do a river crossing with your rucksack. So for that, what you're gonna do is you'll need two construction uh, trash bags, okay? So these are like contractor trash bags. What we're gonna do, it's gonna be pretty simple. It's gonna be two of these bags and then some 550 cord, okay? So the 550 cord, the length, it's going to be this length, okay? Now, always remember with uh, a rope or any uh, so 550 cord, you could always shorten it, but not lengthen it. So uh, this is well, well more than enough uh, that you'll need. The idea is gonna be very simple. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put the rucksack into these construction bags, tie off the top, and then cross the river with the rucksack floating behind us. So let's close this up and let's get started. So first rucks, first trash bag. Here we are. One. 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 All right, so here we are. Here's for the rucksack. First bag, okay. Now I'm just gonna flip it upside down. Okay, there it is. Here's my first bag. All right, and I'm going to close it off. So here you want air inside, obviously, so uh, to create that flotation, all right? So that positive push, okay, so here we are. Here's for the second top, great. So now I'm going to twist. Okay guys, so I brought the camera a bit closer over here. So what we're gonna do is bring in that twist. So twist the top of the bags, just like that. Create a tight seal at the top, okay? So here we are, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my 550 cord, and I'm gonna do a clove hitch followed by a square knot. So my clove hitch is gonna have a tail on it. So here we are, this will be my tail end and this will be my leading end. All right, so here we are, make it tight. So here I'm gonna go around over, over the top and then around bottom, okay? Bring it through here and there we are. Okay, so we have a railroad crossed by a diagonal bridge. All right, so then you do that, bring them as close together as possible, and you're gonna tighten that off. All right, so tighten, tight, tight. There it is, okay, all right. So now your clove hitch is effective, all right? This is your seal, but we're not gonna stop there. We're gonna continue twisting the remaining ends of the plastic bags here. We're gonna fold it over, and now what we're gonna do is do a square knot on the other end. All right, so let's flip this over so you can see. I'm gonna take my leading end over here and here on this side is my tail end. So it's gonna be left over right, right over left. So it's gonna be my left over right. So left over right. Okay. I'm gonna tighten that off as much as possible. All right, there it is. Next, right over left. So hold that down and then right over left. And now I'm going to seal that square knot. There it is, okay. So there it is guys. So there is my square knot, all right? So clove hitch with a tail end followed by the fold over and then a square knot to complete that seal. All right. So. Now, we don't care about this tail end anymore. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on this leading end. What you're gonna do with this leading end is you're going to create a loop over here for your arm to go through, okay? You can make it big enough so that if you need to let go of the rucksack and uh, it goes off in the current, it doesn't drag you away, okay? So you can be able to release and take your hand out. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a bowline knot. So make it uh, where it's gonna be big enough. This looks like it's gonna be big enough right over here. So I'm just gonna do a bowline knot on this end, just like this. Okay, there it is. There's for my bowline knot, all right? Okie dokie. All right, so now we're ready. Looking like it's wide enough for me to release it. Okay, great. So now let's go to the water. Okay, so now guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in the water and I'm just going to drop the rucksack into the water. 
and it'll float, okay? So uh, the rucksack weighs around uh, 23 kilos, my scales in kilos. So uh, it's, uh, it's pretty heavy, but again, uh, Archimedes law, uh, the volume in liters, if it exceeds the weight in kilos, it will float, okay? So here I am with my handle, and I'm just gonna do a quick demonstration and uh, swim along over here, okay? Uh, first, I'm gonna just swim, and then I'm gonna show you that you can use this, obviously, as a flotation device. Okay, so let's put it in this left hand over here. All right, and here we go. Okay, so obviously my I couldn't I couldn't even feel the rucksack uh, with it around my arm. Okay, again, if I need to release the rucksack, it's easy. All right, so the whole purpose of that bowline and this handle that you create at the end of your 550 cord. All right. Secondly, obviously I don't have a rifle right now. I don't have a rubber ducky to do a demonstration. But what I would do, obviously, again, handle around your arm, just like this. Next, you can use this as a flotation device. On it, and you're just going to float with it. All right, there it is, just like that. If you have a rubber ducky, well, if you have a rifle, you place the rifle on top, and this is how you would use it to, go, to get across, okay? So, again, being, Trying to be as realistic as possible. This guy, that uh, bee really likes me right now. All right, okay, so uh, there it is for your rucksack. This is how you keep it dry. This is how you use it as a flotation device to get across the river, okay? All righty guys, well, I hope this was helpful. Sky Soldiers. <laughs>